Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising. Monthly Tarot reading, December 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the Tarot cards. <clears throat> and we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month here is going to be the temperance followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here. We do have the uh, page of swords. Third card that represents the um, intentions that you should follow throughout the month or the best way how you can tackle with the endeavors throughout the month that is going to be the Aeon or the Judgment. Followed by the fourth one, which represents the lesson that you are about to learn throughout the month. That will be the Queen of Pentacles. And then the last card here, which represents the um, energies that are to help you or the positive energies which are going to surround you throughout the month. Uh, that will be the Princess of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles in the traditional deck. All right. So uh, the first card here, which is the Temperance, is going to be catalyzed with the Tree of Wands. So a uh, very dynamic month for you, Leo. There are going to be a lot of things that you need to attend to, and I mean chores, okay? Uh, those kind of like a minor, um, how can I say it? Uh, rather like a peripheral activities that you are to find them unnecessary, and yet you are to find them unnecessary, but yet they have to be tackled so they can be get uh, out of the way, if you will. Now, the good thing with those two cards is that you're not going to face very much... Um, um, how do I say it? You're not going to be that annoyed by doing all those stuff. Peripheral activities. It is uh, because... Uh, Understanding that through doing all these kind of like shenanigans, if you will, you are clearing out a, a path. Those two cards are active supporters. And as active supporters, those two cards are pointing to a building up of patterns. Okay, making up a patterns where you um, solidify yourself and from there jumping into new leaps of further and future developments but before you can do so like I said first you need to clear up the path and second of all you need to find the right way how you can do it so and you can't find the right way how you can do it so by having all those kind of like a chores around you but uh, the month itself uh, is going to be very very productive in a sense of that uh, how can I say it um, there will be quite a lot of uh, compassion and solidarity from the people around you uh, while they may not entirely be willing to help you they will not gonna mess around with your stuff as well which will allow you to find the balanced way how you can push forward with either your career 
or with either your relationship or maybe with both. So the other card, it is uh, representing the challenge that you need to overcome. That is going to be the uh, Page of Swords, accompanied with the Ace of Cups. We do have an, an active neutrals in this position. And uh, that is a person you already know, okay? I mean, they are taking up a part of your life for one or another reason. A, a person with quite a lot, with quite of a, a different point of view, quite of a, a different vision than yours. So they can be classified as a uh, original thinker and uh, they will cause a lot of uh, predicaments for you throughout this uh, throughout this month and the problem here is going to be that those predicaments are going to be unexpected so <clears throat> the difficulties that you're going to face are going to come from that person that you have least expected okay and that itself uh, will make you more or less to start well, quoting quotes, I would say, hate that person while you don't have to. I mean, those cards are pointing that that person um, unintentionally, it's uh, creating those um, those predicaments for you. Uh, the other way how those cards could play around is that you are expecting that this person is going to help you with something. Uh, you haven't consulted yourself with them. It's just, you know, because you have a such a good relationship in between, you have expected them to lend you a hand and suddenly they refuse because they have something different to do, something better to do, and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like... Um, pointed here uh, as a challenge it is that to really to rely more to yourself rather than to a specific individual that you are expecting them to help you rather than to negotiate it, your help uh, with them so the other card here points to the intentions that you have to incorporate or rather like the best way how you can tackle with all those uh, chores that are infiltrating your life or rather like that you need to deal with throughout the months of December, Leo. That, um, <clears throat> that will be the judgment catalyzed by the Hermit. Uh, that is a, a very strong combo. First of all, it is a active neutral. And um, well, basically, intentional wise, you have to take on... Um, everything that it is going on around you or take on all these chores like they are important things although you are not finding them that important that comes from the neutrality neutrality from those two cards okay uh, and um, the judgment here represents with the hermit it represents that from the least place you have expected a a very important or rather like a very Mm, substantial means are going to come into your way so you're going to have a, a big breakthrough in a thing that you have least expected and for that reason intentionally wise you need to attend with great with big conscientiousness to everything you do throughout the months of uh, December. Additionally to that, uh, those two cards are calling you to make alliances, even though you may feel that right now you don't need them. Probably, you know, further down the road with your developments, as we are seeing that you are to build up a solid patterns here throughout the months of December, which will allow you to grow. Probably those patterns also involve you making important allies and very vital connections that will help you grow into your career or into your relationship as well. The other card, it represents the um, lesson that you are to learn throughout the months and that will be the Queen of Pentacles and it is accompanied or catalyzed here by the Chariot card. So we do have a passive uh, support, passive friends, excuse me, in this position. And uh, the lesson is going to be something like that uh, before you go for a um, newness into one's life, first one needs to do whatever it takes, and I mean whatever it takes, to consolidate and secure current achievements, okay, or, or, or current means, like before you think for example, before you think of engagement, you first need to secure your relationship. Before you think of a promotion, you first need to secure your current project or your current place and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like uh, you have to, you are going to learn how to become, um, how do you say it? 
uh, self-absorbed, if you will, with your things, with your wish wishes as well, with uh, extracting the luck from your hard work, if you will, with uh, you are going to learn how to show yourself as a, a very uh, as a individual with a, a very strong presence that everything that this individual does matters to the individual itself. And based on this lesson that you are going to learn and you start incorporating it into your life, you are to show yourself very capable and reliable, a fantastic thing in regards to future career uh, developments uh, here throughout the month of uh, December. That also correlated with uh, the first, with the topic where you tackle with a lot of chores. Well, in my mind, at least, will only show to your boss that you are the guy, you are the woman that they need to deal with this very important project, for example, that it is looming on the horizon. And the last card represents the guidance, or not the guidance, excuse me, the energies that the tarot uh, is showing that are going to help you throughout the month. This is the Page of Pentacles and it is catalyzed by the Eight of Cups. So those energies, guys, are always going to keep you in sync with your spendings. What I mean, it is that with those energies, you are never going to overinvest like time, like money, like effort, like attention as well. Uh, as well, those energies are going to help you to uh, maintain your youthful spirit as well. You're, you know, you're kind of like a, how, how do you say it when you are always not exactly happy, but cheerful. Okay. <clears throat> and those energies will boost your dedication additionally, will make you, um, instead of looking into the irritating details right now that you will have to tackle with certain chores, will make you uh, put your glance more toward the overview. What happens after the chores are done and how much growth one can have after the chores are done. So uh, that being said, guys, um, Leo, uh, you will have to arm yourself with a lot of patience here and a lot of uh, solidarity, if you will, throughout the month of December. So you can do what is necessary to clear up, uh, to clear out a, a path for yourself to reach a further growth, either career wise or either relationship wise as well. And don't forget, guys, alliances. It is what you need to uh, try to uh, establish throughout this month because they're going to play a, a huge role and they're going to help you immensely moving on forward with that same growth. So that being said, Leo, this was your week, uh, monthly, excuse me, tarot reading for the month of December 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.